Marissa is an aggressive bully using her plus frames to make her opponents submit to her special moves. Just like with her interest in jewelry design, her preferred range is about as close to you as she inspects her gemstones. Her fighting style of choice is Pancration, a blend of both wrestling and boxing that stems from 7th century Greece. Here's how to play Marissa and a couple of tools you can use to enhance your time with her. If you like content like this, be sure to drop a like and subscribe to the channel. Let's start with her first special move, Gladys. Formed by inputting core circle forward and punch, Marissa plants her fist through you with a devastating straight punch. Not only do you act first on block, you can do it immediately or put the pain down by holding down the button. This gives her one hit of upper body armor, and if you charge it up all the way, you get a unique animation for more damage. You can also smash through people too eager to drive impact you out of pressure. The overdrive version of this welcomes you to more damage. Her next special is the Machetus. This is pretty hard to pronounce, so bear with me. This move is done by inputting quarter circle back and punch, and is an uppercut that if you follow up with a forward punch for 6p, shits you again, slamming you to the ground. Although this is negative on block, each version of this move serves a different purpose. The light one is a really good anti-air option, while the medium and heavy versions bounce the opponent at different heights, allowing for more damage for follow-ups. When the overdrive, this special move bounces the opponent high up and allows for any follow-up you may like. Marissa's DP command move is called Phalanx. This leaves her plus on block, so be sure to keep up the pressure with this if you're having a blocking opponent on your hands. This move also gives her upper body armor and can bust through DI if overdrive. Overdrive version of Phalanx can also send your opponent flying, slamming them against the wall for a follow-up if nearby the corner. Hey, 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 Editor Reno here. Uh, so past Reno, he forgot to record a section here. I don't know, I don't know why. He's an idiot though. Anyhow, uh, I just wanted to let y'all know that Phalanx can also is also anti-fireball. It can tank one of the hits, and uh, it does also lose the EX version of this, so do be careful whenever you do do that. But yeah, you can definitely use it to jump over fireballs and stuff like that, so uh, don't let that, uh, don't let that, don't let that scare you. So, uh, back to the video. One of the good follow-ups for Dimachidus is this special, Quadriga. Marissa hops forward and surprises you with a powerful front kick. Performed by a quarter circle forward plus kick, this can also be cancelled into a level 3, but only your level 3. The overdrive version of this move sends your opponent full screen, and with the right spacing, can be followed up by the light version of Quadriga. Marissa's last special is called Skewtip, a defensive stance that gives upper body invisibility that strikes back when struck. Holding the button after countering keeps her Skewtip, and the stance alone allows for free follow-ups. Tonitrus is an overhead attack done by her punch attack, and it has two hits, so be sure to punch again for the second one. Coachella is Marissa's low option with the kick. It is very fast, so use it to catch your opponent to set them up for more Skewtip pressure. And Fold is her throw option, coming with the favorite line. Where are you going? Fat damage is a very pleasing animation. Soak into glory while your opponent groans in frustration as they get hit by this for the fifth time. Marissa has quite the number of unique attacks, so it's time for a lightning round. Marissa's style allows her to charge up any heavy button. If charged up all the way, it is normally plus on block. The light 2 hitter is not that great as the second hit of the target combo can be blocked, but you can keep the pressure going with Phalanx. The medium 2 hitter is true if the first one hits and can be cancelled into a Dimachetus on hit or Phalanx on block. This is going to be the meat and the potatoes of the operation. The heavy two hitter is also true and leads to a soft knockdown. The Volaire combo is a good air to air option as it's fast and it sends your opponent back to the ground. The Kalem Arc is a good cross up tool as it can hit opponents behind you. Magna Bunker is a great move as the charged version can combo into its non charged version and can cancel into special moves. A perfect drive rush contender. Novacula Swipe has good reach that can knock your opponent to the ground. Novacula Thrust is a good move that hits twice and sends standing opponents away. Malleus Breaker is an overhead move that is a pretty good parry drive rush option for catching a crouching opponent off guard. And finally, Falk's Crusher has surprisingly good reach and the second hit sends your opponent to the floor. We finally get to Marissa's Super Arts, the first being Javelin with Marissa. This is her level 1 Super. This button can be held down for a unique animation that even has upper body armor. If they hit you, you kind of get the charge immediately. The next super art is Meteorite. This is a phenomenal anti-air option if you don't mind spending some cash. This super costs 2 bars. Her level 3 super art is called Goddess of the Hunt. This move is a very fun watch every time and always sends your opponent to the corner. It is also invulnerable to fireballs, so be sure to let Ken, Ryu, and Luke have it if that's the game they like to play. Now they have a quick understanding of what each move does, allow me to give you her Nyon Idiot Proof game. As mentioned before, the medium potatoes of your strategy stems from the medium 2 hitter. It is special cancelable, meaning that you can do things on both block and hit. On block, you can keep the pressure going with a phalanx, or if they like to drive impact out of your pressure, discourage them with a fully charged gladius. On hit, however, 
cancel into Dimatrius for damage and super art follow ups, or get him with a light and medium Gladius for some good damage. Another option you can run is actually landing the medium 2 hitter and then drive rush canceling into Magna Bunker, as the hit stun from Magna Bunker can guarantee the heavy version of Dimatrius. If they want to jump in on you, be sure to use light Dimatrius as it can beat most air to ground options. If you're having trouble getting in, you can utilize Quadriga to get in, although it's negative on block. If you space it so that the tip of your foot hits on block, you'll be relatively safe. Phalanx is projectile invulnerable so it makes for a good round start option, or to punish counter someone fireballing at close range. When you knock someone down, if they like to mash, use Skewton to discourage them from doing that anymore. Using Marissa style with Heavy Punch, if spaced correctly, is able to get the full charge and continue your turn, so be sure to utilize that as much as you can. That'll do for the game plan, but before we get to the combos, I want to let you know about her weakness. Just like her Greek fighting style, she literally has an Achilles heel. All of her armored moves that she boasts, they can all be beaten by low attack, so be sure not to rely on them too often. Now, here we have some combos. Here is your bread and butter. Here is that same BNB with a Drive Brush combo. Now let's cancel that into a special move. How about a Super Art this time? Spend the cash with this combo into Super or Critical Art. Here are a few block strings. These should be all the combos you need to get on your merry way into ranked. If you like this video, drop a comment down below, as well we as a like it. and subscribe, of course. See you in the streets. In. <laughs> Let's go. Someone just got big hey, hey. Wow. We met our own highlights.